Hey, it's Janik from Prototype D. We're standing here outside of our innovation pod and I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough around what's new and what we've added over the last couple of weeks. Now, since you last saw it, it was a metal shell and we had um, the, the, the galvanized uh, uh, sheet metal with the, the structural ribs. We've completely covered over that now. Our goal was to create a very well insulated uh, skin that would cover everything because we want this uh, pod to be able to perform both in summer and uh, wintertime environments. You'll see uh, we've used a rigid foam insulation throughout uh, as, our, as our primary source of insulation thus far. Um, with the three layers on the outside and the bat insulation we're adding to the inside, uh, the walls become around uh, an R40 wall and we have around an R20 floor and ceiling. And we predict that was, that's going to create um, with our heating and cooling, a very uh, comfortable environment and it will be able to allow this to operate throughout Canada on a four season basis. So I'm going to take you on a walk around and show you some of the, the key features we've also added. Uh, as you can see, we've created this, uh, this arched overhang. That's going to create a bit of shelter and, uh, and allow us to integrate lights into the facade and that's going to um, help to, uh, to both functionally shield the door from any rain uh, but also practically to, uh, to create a well-lit entrance. Uh, we've come across the front and we've uh, applied all of the, uh, the uh, rigid foam insulation to the bottom and to the top and we're doing all of our trim framework around where we'll, where we'll attach all of our, our flashings and all of our met metallic finishing. And the last element you see to do here is we're going to be covering over these window mullions with uh, uh, prefabricated insulated wood strip that is going to uh, cover what you see right here and that's really the final step in in terms of uh, uh, fully enclosing this building throughout. As we walk around the back you see that the the drum of the pod here it's uh, it's also insulated we've used uh, we've used the same rigid insulation and we have strapped over it that's going to allow us to run our uh, our galvanized uh, steel sheathing and bend it straight over the edge so we'll be able to maintain that lovely curve that is, is so iconic with this and uh, we'll be able to continue it right over seamlessly to run straight over top of, of this curve as well. Uh, so as you can see we're getting fully enclosed our next steps that you that you will uh, see as you watch or walk along and uh, look at it are the elements of strapping that's going to receive all of the uh, the siding that we're putting on we're using a beautiful uh, uh, gray vertical siding and that's going to complement the galvanized uh, finish and the galvanized uh, drum of the, uh, of the pod very nicely. And then on the inside we're going to complement those grays and silvers with some really vibrant uh, textures and finishes as we build uh, both the sound insulated booth at the back and, uh, and also build the workstations and the benches and all of the other elements that are going to make the space a fully functional digital media innovation pod. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much and uh, keep following along. Feel free to ask us any questions about the design through social media, through Facebook or Instagram. And uh, we'll be happy to, uh, to share the progress as it goes. And we look forward to engaging with the creative community when it comes to the fit up of the inside of the pod. Thank you very much and uh, we'll talk to you soon.